thank you. Today is a holiday uh, meant to honor the exploration of Christopher Columbus of the New World back in 1492. But since the 1990s, the day has become the subject of protest and controversy. A growing number of states have replaced Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day. Our next guest narrated a documentary called Courage and Conviction, the true story of Christopher Columbus. Here's a clip. Since the dawn of human history, humanity has desired to explore what laid beyond the far horizon. But wonder is often shackled by fear. For Christopher Columbus, faith and conviction inspired a voyage that will forever change our world. That's the voice of actor, screenwriter, producer, playwright, and restaurant owner Chaz Palmentieri, who joins us now. Chaz, thanks for coming on. I know you care deeply about this holiday. What stood out to you from the documentary and the life of Christopher Columbus? Well, so many people don't realize that uh, they blame Christopher Columbus. But Christopher Columbus, when he was there, when he was there, there was no wars. When he left, his soldiers were attacked by a, a tribe called the Caribs. Then they responded, and that started the war. This had nothing to do with Christopher Columbus. And what people don't realize there is that we were the first immigrants. Christopher Columbus was the first immigrant to come to America. This is an immigrant day, not only a, a Italian American day. And if you want to take away Christopher Columbus, if you want to wipe that name out, then you better take away Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, Columbia University. There's 23 uh, cities in America named after Columbus. So it's just ridiculous. Christopher Columbus is an Italian American day. It's our day that we've been celebrating for the past hundred years with pride. Never riots, never anything. This is our day. Indigenous people have their day in August. Native Americans have their day in, uh, I think, November. Don't take away our day. It's never going to happen. Ever, ever, ever. Trust me, it will never happen. They should stop trying to take it away. I know you were the Grand Marshal of the NYPD in the Columbus Day Parade last year. Uh, we've got a photo there of you with some police captains. Tell me, tell me about the significance of participating in that parade and then of maybe the ages that you see. Do you see younger uh, New Yorkers participating in this day and really understanding the true history of it? I, I totally agree with you. Yes, I do see younger people. And it was, that was one of the proudest days of my life, to, to be with the NYPD Columbia organization. I mean, that, I mean I'm, I'm such a big... Uh, uh, anybody who knows me, the NYPD is the greatest police force in the world. There are many great police forces, but to me, the NYPD, the detective unit, is the greatest police force in the world. These guys are out there every day. You realize their life is on the line every single day. And we want to defund the police. We want to take money from the police. People have lost their minds. Right. It's not going to happen. I support the NYPD, and I support Christopher Columbus. All right. Well said. We will leave it right there. Chaz Palminteri joining us with his thoughts. Appreciate it, as always. Thanks for your time today. And one more thing. Sure. It will never, ever happen. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you.